Now, everybody, let me just tell you, there's nothing to see here. Everything is all right. This is just a regular takeoff from a regular runway. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, whatever this runway is. Yes. My good old friends of broken landing gears and runways that are very weirdly placed and very weirdly designed. In today's video, we are back in the state of Virginia. In today's airport that we're going to talk about is this one right here, Falwell, the Ski Slope Airport, as it's often referred to. Yeah, it's uh, famous for its Ski Slope runway, and it's one of the most unique airports in Virginia. You know what? I would almost say this is one of the most unique airports in the whole of U.S. I mean, look at this. It's got a 150 feet steep runway drop. Jesus Christ. What? Like, I mean, I've been seeing pictures of this airport quite a lot recently. I'm just wondering, okay, they definitely built this airport on purpose to have an airport that's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure before the runway was built, there was already this hill here. And they just built a runway on it, which actually, you know what? I don't even hate that idea. You know, I can now make a video about this. But this sure is a very interesting idea, isn't it? But I am wondering, though, like, how are we even supposed to use this airport? So I guess we would land on this side right here. And your plane's gonna have to do some climbing, I guess? I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I guess what we're supposed to do is actually, you know, land and stop before the first runway exit. And then we can just skip the whole sloped part of this runway. Otherwise, it would... We would have a hard time taxiing, don't we? Okay, let me try to taxi up the mountain here. Is this even gonna work? All right, full power, full power now. Four knots, three knots, two knots, one knot. Come on, we can do this. Yes, here we go. All right, yeah, I've never given this much power input into a plane while taxiing, but here we go, that works as well. And well, let me just say, taking off makes a lot of sense as well. There we go, we can just fall down, basically. This is actually quite nice. I'm pretty sure, I mean, this runway is not even very short. I'm pretty sure that you'd be able to land pretty large planes here. I, I mean, you know, with this absolutely big slope, Landing uphill like this, of course, reduces your stopping distance. Literally anything could operate here. Also, the takeoff. Let's try that today. All right, here we go, A320. You know what? This is probably going to turn out to be a very, very bad idea, right? You know, especially with these bigger and heavier kind of jets, right? With, you know, hitting the slope with the landing gear is not going to be healthy for the landing gear at all, probably. Let's come and try this anyway. All right, this is definitely... God, all right, that's been a okay. Not even the, this uh, this whole touchdown wasn't healthy for the landing gear either. All right, let's go ahead and stop, which is probably not going to be that much of an issue. Here we go. Yes, check that out. Ha! <laughs> Lol. Well, I'm quite sorry for this plane now. Um, we totally smashed this into the ground and totally smashed this basically into a hill at this point. I mean, this is a, a huge slope. Here we go. We can land anything here. I can promise you that. It's probably not going to fly very well after or land very well. I mean, look at look. Like, uh, did, can you see the, the, the those landing gear? This is not looking very good. But this is great! Alright, so, how does taking off a 787 work? Let's maybe find out. Alright, this is definitely gonna break some landing gears now. Alright, let's go ahead and get the parking brake released. Get going. Come on, 77. You can do this plane. We can do this. You know, this airport is called Falwell, but it should be called Fallwell because you fall down this slope. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright. Alright. Tail, oh, tail strike. That has been a tail strike and a nose landing gear strike. That was not good at all. Did you see that? All right, here we go. And we're not even able to take off at all. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think we've reached the point where the slope is so small and is so big, where, you know, where it just reduces actually your speed because you crashed into the ground. Very well physically worked through, you know. Let's uh, try landing here. You know what? That probably isn't going to be that much of an issue. We can maybe even dare to do a smooth landing out here. The instruments are still broken. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Things are looking okay. This is, by the way, a rather narrow runway as well. All right. That's been in the grass. Oh, well, let's maybe try to stop anyway. Here we go. This is looking absolutely fine. Yes, and even uphill, indeed. We can, uh, there we go. No problem with stopping. This is good. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, that was rather smooth as well. That was all right. And a good stop. Even though, you know what? We don't even have to try to stop here at this airport. You just get automatically stopped by the slope. You couldn't, landing here without brakes probably works pretty well. Now, another thing that I've been wondering about is, well, taking off from this side of the runway, you know? So, like the uphill side. So this is kind of like the logic of these old Soviet <clears throat> aircraft carriers that used to have ramps, right? This is kind of a ramp. Let's try this ramp right here. How does how does the ramp work? Full power, 737. Let's do this. I think this is 
probably gonna work pretty well. Now, yes, we're completely ramming again <laughs> the landing gear into a mountain. Oh my god, that has been absolutely painful, but there we go. Ramp effect, not very well used. Okay, you know what? Taking off actually doesn't work as well as I would have thought. All right, sorry. Okay, that has been absolutely an overrun. Sorry about them. Good. What's probably going to work even worse is landing on this other side of the runway. Right now, landing a little bit of a downhill landing. How does that work? Let's find out. All right. Plane's complaining because we're literally landing on a mountainside. This is going to go very well. Come on, let's do it. All right, there we go. Come on, can we do this? Reverse thrust. Now downhill. Oh, we're flying. We're flying once again. Oh, that has been not good at all. Who built this airport? Jesus Christ. There we go. And we are alive. I mean, I mean check this out. We kind of stopped here. Then we uh, kind of stopped stopping. Uh, fell down onto the run. Yeah, this is good. It's good, good, good video. All right. Now, time to try a proper landing again. Welcome aboard the Concorde, everybody. Yes, finally flying this plane again. Let's come in for a landing. Mm-hmm. Everything looking good. We've got like 230 knots on the clock. Very normal speed for landing here in the Concorde for sure. So let's do this now. Oh my god. You know, I kind of forgot how fast the Concorde really is. Oh, this is definitely gonna crash into this mountainside now. All right, let's do it, Concorde. Let's do it. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and stop now. Fall into the reverse thrust and oh my god. Okay, now up the mountain. Oh, we're in the air again. We've got kind of a ramp effect and we're overrunning this. You know what? I think this landing would have definitely worked better if this runway was not sloped. All right, we've crashed. Good one. Now, this truly has not worked very well. This was a normal landing speed, by the way, for the Concorde. 180 knots right there. I didn't really touch down all too early, but I think it was fine enough. And here we go. Pretty much crashing. I'm pretty sure I crashed the nose into... Yeah, I crashed the nose into the mountain. Well, that's good to see. Who built this airport? Like, honestly, like, not even a Cessna can fly here properly. I mean, you cannot tell me that a Cessna is going to be able to taxi up this mountain. All right, come on. All right, this, this definitely won't work, right? They like, just try to use the taxiway. There is one, at least. All right, remove the parking brake. We have to go full power for sure. Like, this is definitely not working, is it? Or is it? All right. Taxi out of the zero. Okay. Oh, is it okay? Oh, never mind. Yeah, this thing actually won't make it up the mountain. They say, no way. There's, you cannot even taxi a plane here. Who built this? This is the most inaccessible runway I've ever seen. That's great to see. So well, let's just give up. Anyway, got some more planes here for sure. And like a hangar and everything. Some proper airport facilities. Which is weird because it means the runway is broken. So yes, everybody. That is the ski slope airport you can find in Virginia called Falwell or Falwell, whatever. It's not very accessible of a runway, but it's, I mean, it is absolutely cool. But I, mean, I do have to say, it's going to break a lot of planes. Oh, Jesus Christ. And we are losing a lot of speed here on this. <laughs> there you go. Maybe we, can, maybe we can make this still in our Embraer Fedim 300. Yeah, this is a very nice airport. And the fact that it kind of exists in real life is quite scaring. Oh, not even that worked. It's right next to a highway as well. You don't really want to overrun here, do you? So everybody, yeah, that is what flying in Virginia is for you. And thank you very much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.